Morning, Goranges are getting ready for the viewing of our sale that's on Monday the 13th of January. And as ever, we've got an interesting mixture for you. I'm looking at this rather stylish um, altar table here. This is going to be lot 952 and at 5 to 700. Good sort of decorator's piece set, Victorian, um, possibly French, I suppose, 19th century carved, parcel gilt, solid oak. Nice big, lumpy piece set, make a good sort of peer table or what have you. So what else do we have in the cell? Come through this way, come along Hector. Hector was quite popular apparently in the video last week, so he's going to feature again. We'll do anything to uh, milk you. And um, we've got this rather splendid table here. Look at the length of it. That's uh, going to seat a good, a very generous 12 around it. You could get more depending on the chairs you choose to put with it. Uh, this is going in around about a thousand pound estimate. Good looking thing, lots of leaves in it. Elsewhere, good selection of carpets and rugs. We are zebra skin rugs as well, a few couple of run over zebras there. They're each in at, I think, around about the £300 mark, estimate wise. Uh, some artwork, a nice little portrait up there, the uh, Victorian portrait of a girl, just sort of decorator's piece, but um, that's in at low money, lot 490, around about £100 or so. We've got um, this, uh, this dining suite still waiting to go, lot 251 is the service sitting upon it. Go and have a look out the back, we'll probably catch them all by surprise. I'm not expecting filming this time of day, so it's good for them. So, in the smalls, we have again interesting lot. These caught my eye. Lot 413, these uh, Indian gouache noblemen shooting. I think they're matchlock rifles they're shooting. Not the best of condition, but uh, again, I think they're in around about one to two hundred pounds for that lot. In the smalls, well, a mixture as ever. We've got uh, some of these nice uh, mixed lot of, of Chinese items. We've got ink stones, we've got sandalwood carvings, porcelain plaques, carved figures. There's a, there's a good selection there. Otherwise, up here's etching of Zeppelin. That's the uh, L33 that um, I believe was shot down 1916. That's lot 407 in round about £100. Further down, this has been unusual. Jonathan Ruth, this uh, gouache. Queen Victoria's Incredible Dream. He, he does these works featuring uh, this diminutive Queen Victoria in uh, unusual situations, such as being chased by tigers up fire escapes, or chased by policemen down the bottom there. Do we get that, Sam? So we go. And uh, that's lot 405, around about £100 on that. Bit of fun. Elsewhere, what can I find? Well, this might suit my driveway, actually. Look around here, this uh, sign here. East Sussex County Council, cast metal, not cast iron. Uh, prohibiting vehicles from causing injury to the grass. So we are with a five pound fine. That's in with this um, sort of Sussex Martlets crest and the trunk, I think, lot 132. Otherwise, well, there's an unusual uh, bit of pewter there. I wonder if that's been adapted. Apparently not. It's engraved. It's sort of like a loving cup there with a glass base. Uh, lot 86. Looks like a re offer. Nice little engraving on it, though. That won't be in at much money. And uh, there's some unusual items. And we've got some musical instruments. We've got these nice sort of French deco bookends and dogs. It's all one lot, lot um, 89, nice mix lot that. The Victorian wall dial there, that's quite smart. Lot, uh, what's that, 98 something? That's 98, yeah. isn't it? We don't have a yeah. at the bottom. Then, elsewhere, let's go down to the counter and have a look what's on there. Come on, Hector. <clears throat> so, over the back there, we've got some uh, water cars. These are Little studies of a ship in the 1860s on a voyage to South America. There's a view of Changchun Ring next to it. That's in at just 30 to 50 pounds. In behind the counter, I see some Chinese rank badge down here and other, other curiosities, further items across this way. Jewelry mixture, as you see, some diamond set jewelry. Did I see you admiring the ring, Sam? Oh, yeah, that one. That one? Oh, yeah, lots of stuff. It's a handsome stone, isn't it? Do you know the estimate? Um, not too Not too short, Rog, are you in your box? <laughs> What's the estimate on this diamond, please? 1,500, 2,000, was it one carat? Uh, just over. There we go, just over yeah. a carat. Good looking ring that, come along and have a look at that. There's other items in this rather stylish opal ring down there, lot 690. Uh, blue opal there by the looks of it and uh, various other things so look at that there's a little bit of stylish little brooch down there lot 702 not quite lot numbered yet as you see but uh, those are the numbers they're going to be over the back more oriental wares some mixed lots of jewelry other curiosities then down the line coming down this way we've got a few books but the big book sale is going to be next week on the uh, 20th the book sale and that'll be going up online very shortly so it's just finishing that off now and then through the uh, interesting room, I think they're for another sale, so we won't dwell on those at the moment. Out the back then, and out the back, another nice mixture of furniture. I'm seeing some sort of oak, a few long case clocks, that walnut serpentine chest on chest. 
and then some more for the sort of more uh, funky furniture. We've got things like this uh, pine partially painted cabinet. That's about 838. It's going to be about 40 quid, so no money if somebody wants a more cupboard. And then some old uh, shop fittings here. Look, headbands, tennis grips, tennis nets. I think we're getting a clue. This may have come from a uh, tennis store. Uh, but that's the uh, sort of thing people now want to turn into their kitchen counter. And that's got 869 coming up towards the end of the furniture section, along with some other shop fittings like this one here and the, uh, the racks for the milliner's cabinets over the back there. Again, popular things these days to uh, make your kitchen a little more different from Ikea or Smallbone or wherever and Neptune, I think, are the people these days. So there we go, good mix sell for you. Uh, that's coming up Monday. Dave will be on the rostrum. Hector might be here if he's a good dog. He's not usually a good dog, so he probably won't. But he's doing his best. So we look forward to seeing you. It's going online tonight. It'll be up there for you to view. Send us any condition report requests you like, additional photographs. And uh, sale starts at 10 o'clock Monday. Thank you very much.